my name is Dawn and I work at the Saskatoon Public Library. This is my son Owen and he is going to help me demonstrate today how to make ice cream in a bag or that is our goal, right? We're hoping ice cream in a bag. Okay, so we're gonna start, they say to use half and half, but all we have is full on whipping cream, 35%. So we're gonna make even better ice cream today. And we're gonna pour half a cup. Owen, do you wanna help with this part? So do you see where the half a cup measures on our measuring cup? You're gonna pour half a cup. That's one dash two. Can you get it? That looks pretty good. Okay, maybe a little bit too much. Can we pour a little bit back? I know. Just a little bit. Please? It looks chunky now. It looks chunky? It's not chunky. Okay, so now Owen, you're gonna pour that into the tiny plastic Ziploc bag. I'm gonna hold this now. Awesome. Okay, we need to add to this a little bit of sugar. Do you wanna help? This is our sugar, just plain regular white granular sugar. One tablespoon. Awesome. I like I like that mixing already. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna add to this, Owen, is one quarter of a teaspoon this much, just a tiny little bit of vanilla. This is gonna be really tricky. Can you get it? Okay, this is what's gonna make it taste really good. Do you wanna do it over top? Oh, that's good. good. Or how about over top of our measuring cup? Just in case we won't make a mess. Good measuring, good job. Okay, put that in here. And then we're gonna seal it up. Good job. You can put that into the container. Okay. I'm gonna seal up our Ziploc bag. Maybe I'll take a little bit of the air out of here, just in case. We've never done this before. Do you think it should have air in the bag or air out of the bag? Air in the bag. You think? Yes, sir. More air in? Air out. Okay. Um, now we're gonna put in our larger Ziploc. Yes. Do you wanna pour the ice in or do you wanna hold the bag? Um, the ice. You're gonna pour the ice in? Okay. I guess, what you're gonna say. All right, we don't need it all, maybe about half. I think we need lots of tiny yeah. chunks. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do all the ice. Okay, and now, we smash it. We need to add a little bit of salt. It helps the ice to stay nice and nice and How cool. much is there? Um, if you open the little spout, no, just pour some in. It's supposed to be a third of a cup, but we're, we forgot a measuring cup, so we're just gonna dump some in. Good job. Okay, and if you're trying this at home, that's good, that's good. Um, you're supposed to use rock salt, but we didn't have rock salt, so we're using granular pickling salt. I think it should work this time. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, put the ice cream in on. You mean this stuff? Yeah, put our soon-to-be ice cream. Oh, don't open it, don't open it. Then so, how do you put it in? <laughs> that is the whole plan is that we don't want our ice cream to have ice and salt in it. So you're gonna put that in, and then we're gonna try closing the bag. And now we're gonna mix it. Okay, I think that our ice cream is finished. We felt through the large Ziploc that it was getting nice and firm. So we're gonna check it out. Owen brought something special to add. What did you bring to add, Owen? Cookie dough. Ah, cookie dough. Okay, hold on. Let's scoop this out so anyone watching will see. <laughs> Dropping ice cream over. It made really nice ice cream, nice and solid. Okay, Owen is gonna put a cookie dough piece into the, oh, you're just gonna scoop it out and do it? Okay, all right. <laughs> That's a big piece of cookie dough. <laughs> Maybe make your cookie dough pieces a little bit smaller, <laughs> then it will be easier to eat. Um, share your uh, variations on vanilla ice cream if you add strawberries or other fruits, maybe vegetables to your ice cream to make it healthier, or other things that you do. Share your videos and your photos with us. Tasty. Happy ice cream making.